This episode of Datitude is brought to you by OxyClean. Cleaning up the house is a big deal, uh, especially because we're planning a home birth and uh, you, you're you gonna have a mess there anyway, so we're cleaning a lot. Wonder bellies, activate. Form of an empathy belly. We have a method uh, to decide, you know, uh, who does what uh, in chores. We do uh, paper, rock, scissors. Winner puts away the groceries. Loser does the dishwasher. I always choose rock. So, so you do the groceries. Okay, and I'll do the do... groceries, you get the dishwasher. Sometimes I win, sometimes I lose. I always choose rock. It's kinda, it's kinda low. Yeah, careful. Whoever invented the dishwashing uh, uh, machine was was not was not pregnant at the time. Oh boy. Oh. All right. I'm just gonna gather all the flakes at once. You have to you have to kind of get down really low. No problem. And then you you you, you put the high ones up you know, the clean one's up high, so you're, you're kind of moving between these two things, and that kind of movement is, is difficult when, when you've got, like, 30 pounds of extra body on the front of you. Belly gets kind of in the way of the toaster. I'm glad Owen had the chance to experience what it's like to try to get the dishes out of the dishwasher and into the shelves. It's really hard to do. It's the belly and the gravity and the strange array of cabinets. It's not easy. It's all about upper body strength. In fact, a lot of the dishes, if Jody hadn't made some of the dishes, I would have just said, screw it, let's throw them away. Oh, it's not the leaning down, it's the, it's the getting back up. Um, but she hates it when I do that. She really does. She's uh, environmentally insensitive. I don't know. Seems like an easier solution, because the trash can's right at the level you need it. You know, it's perfect. I think we got a bath. <laughs> Pretty much done. Bathroom clean time is never a fun time. It's a lot of work in there. Paper, rock, scissors, so who cleans a bathroom? Oh yeah. <laughs> you always do rock. I do. Don't you? Because I keep thinking scissors are pointy, they're like a weapon. Paper seems so wimpy. I find the bathtub, you have to you have to find a way to to straddle the tub and, oh. and not get the tub dirty. No so good! Still cleaning! It's good. It's fine. You better get that kitchen clean. Or I'll be, I'll be pissed. So, oh, don't uh. Don't wear shoes in the bathtub. Jeez, what have I been walking on? The toilet. The toilet. Um, you know, I, I always thought that the toilet and the bath seemed they should be just sort of self-cleaning. You know, you flush and you you bath and you know, like that that makes sense to me. But um, I, you, the toilet, you really got to get in there and you really got to scrub and things are growing and. Woo. Um, and, and you know, sometimes every now and then the, something gets kind of clunky in there and it's like, it's like your toilet's uh, uh, choking and you have to do like the Heimlich on, on the toilet and go, you know, and find whatever is, is clogging up the, the breathe hole of, of, of your commode. A clogged toilet is a bit like uh, a treasure hunt waiting to happen. Geraldo's there and he's all nervous and you're getting in there and like, what's gonna, is it gonna be like a magazine or a pack of Ritz crackers or, or, or you know, a Twinkie? Could just be a Twinkie that's absorbent. I don't even know and I get in there and, uh, uh, m more often than not, it's My Little Pony. And, and the weird thing is, it has, it has nothing to do with my daughter. I'm fairly certain that's the first time Owen has ever cleaned a toilet in our house. And a bathtub. 